Hey Fit Fam, today upper body strength training, you're gonna need two dumbbells and you're actually going to need a chair, but you won't need the chair until the first break. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna get our arms and our legs going at the same time. So my right leg, left arm, watch me here. I'm gonna step and punch, step and punch, step and punch, step and punch, and step, step, step. So you gotta go a little slower with the feet so you can get your arms all the way out. Bah, bah. All right, reaching out, reaching out. Good, let's keep the arms and legs going. We're gonna go for a full minute. Today, we're gonna keep going with the waist elongation, the lower back saving exercises. And we're actually gonna, well, we're, we're gonna show you how to use your back muscles, the upper back muscles, to actually get some lift off of your lower back and essentially your hips. Long, 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 long ranges of motion. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? Ask yourself that, folks. Remember, victory isn't defined by winning every single battle. It's defined by your ability to keep going no matter what. Ah, ah. Okay, three, two, and stop. All right, so open the feet up here, okay? Now, we're gonna get a little upper body twist. So your upper body's twisting. Your hips aren't gonna move though. So if you look at me, this is a hip rotation. See how my hips are rotating? I'm gonna lock my hips in place and just get my upper body moving. So in terms of lower back health, having a nice, rib cage that rotates like this is gonna help a lot because the lower back isn't made to rotate. So as long as my ribs are moving nice, my lower back isn't, mom, you're kind of moving your hips too much, there you go. Okay, now we're gonna add some punches out, but I want you focusing on your twist. So don't go fast, All right? Just focus on twisting your ribs, twisting, and breathe. So part of what I'm talking about nourishment, I'm talking about resilience and how we overcome obstacles mentally. Because I realize what we're doing here at UOB Fit Forever is a lot more than just physical. Because if you really want to get in shape and stay in shape, you really, really got to train your mind. It's cool, it only took me 20 years to figure that out. <laughs> 20 years, 20, 5,000 protein shakes later, I realized thinking is more important. Okay, and relax. All right, so we're gonna come pencil, so feet together, pencil. You're gonna bring both your hands up and you're gonna reach, and I want you to pull your ribs out of your hips. So I'm getting this nice elongation in my waist. You do that by pulling, pulling, pulling up as high as you can. Pulling up, reach, and let go. So today when we're doing our shoulder press, we're gonna get that nice elongation. It's actually called an extended shoulder press. So let's practice that. So I'm gonna be in neutral stance. I got my air dumbbells, okay? I'm gonna bend my knees slightly. I'm gonna shoulder press, meaning the weight goes overhead, but then I'm gonna extend my shoulder press by reaching up even higher and getting this nice lift and then back down. Now you're gonna notice, let's do it again, come up. Your shoulders are coming up by your ears. Make sure your neck's relaxed. Make sure your back is long and back down. Good. And coming up again, reaching, reaching up and recover. Good, you feel that elongation? So we're gonna come back to that with the weights, a few reps, just because I want everything long and tall today. Long and tall, reaching out, good. All right, let's do a couple exercises for the shoulder rotator cuff, the shoulder rotator cuff. All right, so we're here. Two 90 degree angles with the elbows. Now you want your palms parallel to the floor. Okay, we're gonna come into scarecrow. So my palms are coming up and I'm rotating and I'm coming down. And I'm coming up and I'm coming down. So just go ahead and start the rotations. Now, what you wanna do, you wanna have your knees bent, right? You wanna make sure your lower back is straight by gently tucking underneath you. I was having a conversation yesterday with someone is if you let your lower back arch, you're gonna start feeling your lower back. So you gotta keep your hips underneath you, nice tuck. 
hut. Your arm should already be on fire, folks. Let's go. Okay, you're gonna stop here with your palms facing down, elbows are up. Let's go, mom. Okay, your hands are gonna come in, your thumbs are gonna touch your chest, and then you're gonna kick your arms out, and in, and out, and in. And then go ahead and start speeding it up. Boom, boom. So your rotator cuffs, right? Those little muscles that hold your shoulder in place, they respond better to endurance exercises. So holding your arms up for a few minutes, you're really gonna feel your rotator cuffs working. That's the whole point. Keep them up, let's go. Okay, stop and hold it. Oh, come on. All right, I know. Palms are facing you. We're gonna make the Tai Chi circle. So you're gonna make a big circle, okay? I want you to hold the circle. Now, it's actually a little ballet move. So holding the circle, I'm gonna bring the circle up over my head and then I'm gonna come back down. And as the circle goes up, I'm gonna lift, nice and tall posture, lift, and back down, and lift, and back down. Okay, doing it on one leg. Here we go, single leg, and up, lifting, and down, good, and up, and down, good. Lifting up, switch legs. So single leg, reaching up. Get those hands up, waistline long, nice tall posture. <laughs> okay, and let your arms flop down. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. All right, so we're gonna contrast that. We're gonna work these muscles right here. It's called your lats. One of their functions right here is the back and squeeze. So we're squeezing back, and you're actually gonna have your shoulder blades go down. So when you push down, you wanna feel these muscles right here in your back activating. So what I'll do is I'll take one of my hands, I'll push down, I'll make sure they're flexing down there. Good, try the other side, flex. Good. Okay, so let's do this martial arts stance, so we're neutral. Palms up here, ready? You're gonna flex, push the shoulders down, flex and push and squeeze and hold. Two, three, and release. You're gonna feel like you're holding your breath at first. That's okay, so ready here, ready? Flex and press and squeeze, hold. Two, three, and release. Okay, ready, one more, here we go, ready? And flex and hold and squeeze, and hold. Two, three, and release. All right, I'm gonna drive this home. This is important, this is today's science lesson is, yes, those, those muscles hold your shoulder blades down, but those same muscles are also the ones that pull us up and we wanna get length in that waist. So when we're pushing down, you kinda of get short, tight in the waist. So here we're gonna come up. So reach up with arms. I want you to get that nice extension. Now from here, keep your arms up, but slide your shoulder blades down your back and squeeze two, that's right, three, and then release. So my hands are standing up, my shoulder blades are coming down away from my ears, and I'm squeezing those same muscles underneath my armpits. Hold, two, three, and release. I can't stress how valuable this information is. And coming down, and hold, two, three, coming up, reaching, and pulling the shoulder blades down. Okay, go at your own pace, keep working those. Three second holds. I had many a shoulder injuries because of these muscles in the back here that we're using, I wasn't using. Okay, coming up. So when I was doing upper body exercises, I was having shoulder problems and hold. Good, okay, last one, last one. Good, and release, breathe. Okay, so before we go to the break, I wanna do a little, a little little brain game, okay? A little brain game. It's also gonna help us work our standing posture, okay? So I'm gonna be here, neutral stance. I want you to start with both palms facing you, okay? So you're gonna take your left arm, it's gonna come down, so your fingers are touching your elbows. It's gonna come back up. Then you take your right arm, it's gonna come down, so your fingers are touching your elbows. And look, you're gonna go one side, back, the other side, back, one side, now, notice your back, notice your legs, notice your neck and your upper back, shoulders, good. Okay, now can you imagine doing one arm and the other arm? 
So here, change, change, change. Don't move your elbows, lifting. Good. Okay, now let's speed it up. Pop, pop, hit, 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 hit. Good. Three, two, and relax. Ah. All right, so go ahead, grab your chair, and we'll come back from water. And the weights, chair and the weights. All right, all right, all right, all right. We are back, you got your weights, okay? We're gonna use the chair, because we're gonna do it on the chair first. Sit, all right, we're gonna sit on the chair. Now, when you sit on the chair, here's what I want you to do. I want you to bring your feet underneath the chair a little bit, and your knees are dropping down. This is actually a orchestra trick for brass musicians. So my knees are down, that allows my stomach, I can breathe. All right, and I'm sitting up nice and tall, but I'm not trying to sit up tall, I just kind of am. Okay, now we're gonna hang the weights at our sides. You want your palms facing behind you, okay? We're gonna turn our palms so they're facing forward and back, turn. Now, I don't like a lot of chair exercises. Reason is I find them to be a little too remedial. However, today when we do them, we're gonna be focusing a lot on our posture, sitting up nice and straight. And then we're gonna find ways to challenge ourselves in the chair a little bit more. All right, so now what we're gonna do is as we come up here, you're gonna curl and you're gonna twist the weights and then back down, curl and, curl and twist, and down. And I really want you to feel out the muscles in your arms, make sure you're flexing them. You're not just moving the weight sub subconsciously, you're flexing your arms. Okay, lift the leg up for balance. Core control. Keep the arms going with the curls. Switching legs, keep the arms going with the curls. Hold those arms on fire. Okay, more advanced, both legs up. You got it, you got it, you got it. Let's go, let's go. Okay, feet down and weights on the knees. Okay, breathe in. Very nice. All right, so your arms are gonna be at 90 degree angles. Thumbs are facing away from you, standing up nice and tall. You're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together, rotate the weights out like they're going outside of your body, and you wanna feel like you're pinching your elbows together behind your back. And together, so the weights go out and away, rotating, squeezing shoulder blades. Make sure you're not flaring your ribs. Make sure as you're going back, you're not pulling up. Good, now as you do this, imagine your butt is being pressed into the chair and your head's being lifted out and your waist is getting really long, nice and tall. Keep those shoulder blade muscles going. You already feel them, huh? Oh yeah, rotator cuffs. Who trains the rotator cuffs like us? Nobody. They're a very neglected muscle. Okay, both legs up, keep going. Let's go. If you're feeling, kick your legs out straight. There you go. Three, come on. And relax. Okay, so, ah, breathe. I want us to lean forward, but I want you to keep your back straight. A lot of times people lean forward, they get in this like, you know, waiting at the doctor's office position. We're gonna be back straight, leaning forward, chest up. We're gonna take the weights and our, our forearms, the back of our forearms are gonna be on our knees and the weights are gonna be off like this, make sure your back is straight. I'm looking down. I'm gonna allow the weights to come down, rolling to my fingertips, okay? And I'm gonna curl back up, and then rolling down to my fingertips, and back up. This one is for your hand and forearm strength. I don't know if I need to stress the importance of having good hand and wrist and strength. Good, coming up. Oh, mom's got the eights, nice. All right, so we're gonna hold them neutral and I want you to flex your biceps as hard as you can for six seconds, ready? And go one, two, three, four, five, six, release. Okay, ready, we're gonna flex the biceps, go in one, two, three, four, five, 
six, and release. Good. One more. Ready? And one. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six, and release. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring the weights down and we're going to bring or open our legs a little bit here. We're going to bring our, our hands and our arms down inside our legs like this. Try to keep your back straight. You might have a little bit around in your back. That's fine. Bring your elbows inside your knees. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to take your elbows, push your elbows into your knees. Like you're trying to drive your knees out with your back, your arms ready and push hold two, three, four, five, six, release. Okay. Let's do it together. Breathing in ready. You're pushing your elbows into your legs and go push two, three, four, five, six, and release. Breathe. Here we go. Ready? And push. Last one. Two, three, four, five, six, and release. Breathe. Okay. Now we're going to sit up a little taller and I want you to push with the back of your wrist. So like where your watches would be or watch if you're a normal person. <laughs> I wear too. All right, so right where that watch would be, I'm gonna push in there. Now, when people do this, they tend to caveman back. So remember, nice and tall, take the back of your wrists, and you're gonna push into your legs, and go push, one. Flex the back of the arms, two, three, four, five, six, and release. And push, one, two, three, four, five, six, and release. One more, you ready? And go, push, two, three, four, five, six, and release. Very nice. All right, so we're gonna be here, you're gonna reach up, okay, you're gonna reach up, and then you're gonna reach slightly to the side, replace the hand on the hip, other side, reach and touch. And you're gonna go at your own pace, make sure you're reaching up, getting that nice long waist. In my mind, I was researching some other trainers who train this, you know, um, she does 15 over. Her most popular video is how to get rid of the bat wings. I just thought it was hilarious that she used bat wings. The back of the arms, you know. There's a lot of great exercises. We just did a few. But I will add that if you don't have good posture, you can do all the back of the arm exercises you want. You're not going to get them. You got to have that. You got to have that perfect posture reaching up. Let's go. And that is my segue to the next move. Okay. Hold, both arms up, reaching up, breathe in, exhale, stand up. Keep reaching up, keep reaching up. Squat down to the chair slow, keeping your arms up like someone's pulling your arms up as you're squatting down for what's called the overhead squat. Okay, one more, ready, up. Good, and then coming down. I think I just chopped my head off on the camera. And recover, good. I'll only be hanging with the back of the arms posture, okay? So let me show you my favorite one is we're gonna, we're gonna change positions with the chair. So we're gonna be standing, we're gonna be turned. I'm gonna turn my chair so you can see me. Both hands on the chair. So we're gonna be doing a kickback and that's where the weight goes back, right? But it's all about the setup, okay? So to set up properly, I'm gonna have both my feet underneath my shoulders. I'm gonna bend my knees, get my back as straight as I can. Okay, I'm gonna grab one dumbbell, keeping my back super straight, I'm gonna bend my elbow, bring it past my chest. I'm gonna hold this, look straight down, I'm gonna extend the arm straight back, hold, and then back in. Slow and control with little pauses, and as the weight goes back, you wanna feel like it's going up and back. Okay, let's go at your own pace. Remember, the slower you go, and the more you flex your arm, the better. And also, the straighter my back, the more relaxed my neck is, the more I'm gonna use that tricep muscle. Remember, how you do the exercise is more important than what exercise you do. You good over there, Mom? Come on, get those tries. Okay, I'm feeling like we need to switch the arms here. Well, I realized for the person doing the workout there, it takes a little longer to set up. So I've been trying today to space my exercises out a little more. All right, so bend the knees here, hips up. Okay, you're gonna bend the elbow, bring your arm up. You're going to kick it back. 
in together and kick it back and together. Make sure your neck's relaxed. Make sure your back is straight. Make sure your elbow stays high. You got it, everybody. You got it. You got it. Good. Keep working. And relax. All right. One more for the break, okay? The infamous dips off the chair. So I think my mom called this the getting off the toilet exercise when you first did it. Great name. Essentially though, we're gonna have our arms at the sides of the chair. Our feet are gonna be out in front. You're gonna slide your butt off the chair. As you slide your butt off the chair, you wanna drop down, right? But look, this is what everyone does. Don't round your back, stay lifted through the chest. Right, shoulder blades together, chest high, chest high. You might not be able to go as low, that's okay. Right, coming down. How dare someone interrupt this? Hand up and down, who is it? It's like God gave the Oh, okay, go get it. We don't stop for nothing, folks. Up and down, yeah, I'll cut it. Did he? Did you leave the money? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Have a good one. Enjoy those books. That's a good deal for those books. No, really. Whatever. I mean, at that point, it's just like throwing shit out, but for, for, for getting a little money. Okay, so can you cut that all out? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. What's funny is he's not going to read those either. No. <laughs> They're really intense. When you get to a point where you're reading Immanuel Kant for fun, you've yeah. made it to a certain level of intellectual superiority. Yeah. <laughs> and pompism. All right, folks, we're back. We had a slight interruption, so I don't know where I'm going to cut it, but we were doing dips, okay? Let's so start doing dips. Just start by doing dips. Okay? All right, so here we go. Back to the dips. So I'm sliding my hips off. Remember, keep that chest up, shoulders together, up and down. Good. And up. And down, keep flexing, keep working. Down and up. What was I saying? Depends on which way you look at the gravity. Okay. By the way, folks, there is no such thing as gravity. <laughs> Let's go. Three, two, and relax. So that one's good. Let's, I, I said it was gonna be the last one, but I just wanna show you is what you can do is actually you can lean forward and use your arms to push yourself up to kind of get up. Okay, with that, let's put the weights. Um, no, we're gonna need the weights. Let's put the chairs away and we're gonna start standing. We'll work some standing and we're actually gonna end on our backs today, okay? So let's cut and we'll get that. All right, we are back. So look at the weights are on the ground. Let's just do a quick little review here. Square your feet on the weights. So the weights are in between my legs. My toes are facing the weights. Bend my knees back straight. Grab one weight, grab the other weight. Standing up nice and tall. All right, so I wanna work back at that extended shoulder press. So we're gonna be here, bring the weights up to 90 degree angles, knuckles are facing the ceiling, bend the knees, weights underneath the hips, pressing up, shoulders right to a normal shoulder press, then keep going, shrugging up, nice long waist. Okay, and then down. Now just go straight up as high as you can. Go up, lifting your waist, stretching out, stretching out. And back down, good, and coming up. Reaching up, reaching up, reaching up. Good, back down. One more, reaching up, up higher, and then now I want you to do what we call a normal shoulder press. So don't go quite as high, keep your shoulders away from your ears, and then down, feel nothing in your neck, everything's relaxed. Good. Coming up, make sure your knees are bent, nice tall waist. Okay, keep going. And recover. Okay, so we're going to be folded at our waist. So we're gonna bend at our waist, back is straight. The weights are gonna be hanging in front of me. All right, stomach's engaged. I'm gonna go, my, I'm gonna start with my left arm. So left arm, bend the elbow, weight comes up, and then I'm gonna switch. Now as one weight's going up, the other weight's going down, it's called a piston row. So boom and boom. 
It's called reciprocating motion, right? Two opposite simultaneous thing. Okay, now more advanced, go ahead, speed up. Pop. Squeeze those shoulder blades, boom, boom, boom. Let's work it, let's work it, let's work it, work it, work it, come on. There you go, relaxing that neck. Three, two, and we're coming up nice. All right, so at this point, we've worked pretty much every muscle in the upper body, which is good. However, I wanna amp it up a little bit, okay? So drop to one dumbbell. So take your dumbbell, throw it, break the floor. Yeah. Grab one. Okay, you're gonna grab it in both hands. So I'm grabbing one hand on your side, right? One hand on either side. Now we're gonna bend down a little bit. Okay, let's set up the feet. So our feet are squat stance. So one stride length out neutral. I'm gonna bend my knees, the weight goes straight down. Keep my back straight. I'm gonna swing the weight up overhead. One. Okay, up and down. Good. Going at your own tempo. Breathing, yeah, you're right. Exhaling all the way up. Good and down. Come on, let's go. Now we're not gonna do a lot of reps because I wanna go into this exercise, so stop. Okay, I want you to keep your knees bent and bring the weight straight out in front of you, chest tight. So hold it there, hold. Hold the weight out, long waist, lifting through the rib cage. Chest up, arms out, hold. All right, engage. Nice, don't lean back. Stomach in, hold it, feel the burn. Bring the weight in, up overhead. Last one here, keep your legs bent, arms are straight up. Bend your elbows, bring the weight behind you. And extend. So the weight goes down and then up. And let's go ahead, speed it up and get some speed reps. We work it now, let's go, we work it, let's go. Breathe. You got it. You got it. You got it. And relax. Very nice. Ah. All right, let's come to the edge of our mats. So, no, the weights are almost done. We got one more exercise with the weights. All right, so let's come to the edge of our mats. We're going to do our walkout. So, here, bend your knees. We're not going to be on the knees at all today, folks. Don't worry about that. So, you're like, does that mean no push ups? That means no push ups. All right, bend your knees, dropping down, walking your hands forward here. Okay. Now stop, lift your knees, walk your hands back, okay? And rolling up. If you feel that in your lower back, just go ahead and get on the mat. We're gonna do one more. Okay, bend the knees, coming down, walking your hands forward, walking your hands forward. Okay, good. My folks are already on the mat, so let's go ahead, let's get on our backs. Which way are you gonna go? I'm gonna go this side. I'm gonna try to coordinate. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. So go ahead, grab both weights. And we're gonna do a pullover, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little variation is I want your right leg out straight, right? And I want you to feel like you're pushing that right leg away from your head, stretching out that waistline. Both weights overhead, squeeze the weights together. You're gonna pull over. I want you to stop and hold it. Nice long waist and pull up. So we're gonna do that tempo. You're gonna go back, hold, pulling over, back, hold, pulling over, back, hold, good, pulling over, back, hold, pulling over, back. Hold, pulling over. Good, one more. Back hold, and pulling over. Okay, switching legs. So remember, when you're working, switching legs, slow and controlled, nice squeezes. You don't necessarily need a ton of weight, okay? Pull and hold, and back, good. Breathing in. This is the last one with the weights. Coming in, good, pulling over. Hold, and up, good. Pulling over, hold, and up. Pulling over, hold. Okay, last one, here you go, pulling over. Good, bring the weights at your sides. Okay, push them down towards your feet so they're kind of away. I want both legs out straight, hands on your abdominals, okay? 
So I want you to suck your abs in, okay? And I want you to flex your abs really hard, flex them. Ah, and then relax. Okay, I want you to lift your right leg into the air. Hold it. Now flex your abs really hard, flex. And back down, good. Other leg, left leg in the air, hold. And flex. Good, back down. Now, both legs in the air, and you won't even need to flex, really. Flex! And back down, relax, good. Okay, arms up straight towards the ceiling. Okay, spread your fingers as wide as you can. Turn your thumbs towards the back of your head. You're gonna bend your elbows. Okay, here, I want you to push your elbows into the mat hard. Push, two, three, and release. Okay, breathe in. Push and hold for three seconds and hold, two, three, exhaling all the air out the end. So you're holding your breath for the press. So breathe in, hold your breath and press into the ground. Two, three, releasing all the air out. Here we go, breathe in, pushing and recover. All right, so, so far, we had a really good upper body workout, even did a little bit of abs. What we're gonna end with here is a little modified diaphragmatic breathing. So you're gonna bend your knees and your feet together. Let your knees drop down a little bit. And I want you to take your hands, I want you to put them on your hip bones. Now, when my hands are on my hip bones, my index finger, my middle finger, they can kind of grab that lower part of the stomach right here, sort of outside the belly button, you feel the area? Yeah. So when we're gonna breathe in, we're gonna expand that area. Now I find for this area, that lower part of the stomach, when I breathe in, it's better to drop my jaw and go, get this gasping breath, and exhale. So let's do it together, okay? So we're gonna wait for me. We're gonna breathe in, so breathe in together. Hold, and exhale. Good, breathe in, hold, exhale. All right, let's close our eyes, close our eyes. Focus, breathe in, exhale. Okay, we're gonna slow it down. Breathe in, hold, and exhale. And as you breathe in, I want you to imagine you're breathing in whatever energy you need. Breathe in, hold, exhale. Whatever energy you need today. To tell yourself you're doing a good job. Breathe in, hold, exhale. If you made it to this part of the workout, you're doing great. Here we go, breathe in, last one, breathe in. And exhale. Now just take a moment, lie there, close your eyes. Remember what we're doing here is more than just physical, we're working on the mental. A lot of people are going through a lot of hard times right now. We can use this time right now to just nourish ourselves, show ourselves gratitude for working out, and also just have a little light of positivity. <sighs> Good. All right, with that, let's go ahead. Sit up nice and slow, don't sit up fast. And workout complete, give yourselves a round of applause. Nice job, everybody. All right, mom, thank you so much, appreciate it. So I kind of jumped right here to the end, just want to take a moment and talk to everyone who's out there watching these videos. First of all, I do appreciate the support that we're getting and the continuous support. My goal, our goal, our purpose for these workouts is to bring at home fitness solutions to people who are moving through life because as you move through life, you do need specialty exercises and you're gonna need more education. Education in the sense of movement patterns and you know, more high level science that we're bringing in. It's the age of just doing push ups and squats and burpees. That's long past. We need to learn how to move our joints, not only in harmony, but also with intent. An intent that brings the movement quality as high as possible. So that's why during these workouts, you hear me explaining thoroughly and trying to tie things together because, you know, my mission, our mission 
is to essentially educate everyone. And I know right now, a lot of us don't have the opportunity to essentially venture out and try other forms of exercise. When we do have that opportunity, I'm gonna encourage everyone to do so. We're gonna take what we're learning here in these workouts as our fundamentals, and we're gonna apply them to our other activities. And ultimately, what we're doing here is we're gonna be solidifying a level of knowledge and information that we can carry with us as we move through the rest of our lives. Because the way that your body works now in terms of joints and movement mechanics and muscles is how it's going to work forever. The function of the shoulder, the function of the knee, it doesn't change as you get older. So what we're learning here essentially will live in infinity. But so my purpose is, like I said, is just to guys to bring you guys the highest level knowledge as possible and bring these at home fitness solutions and to do so at a completely affordable cost. So I really, 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 really am excited for the future. And though it is a trying time for all of us, I am finding some joy in being able to connect with people through these videos. So with that, I'm Coach Russo and this is You'll Be Fit Forever. Peace.